We hope you enjoy your time with us. We love you very much. Hello, 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 and welcome back to Masquerade Mondays. So today I'm going to be going through all of the quests that are available so far in the Tender Beta app. Now obviously I'm not very good at the app or the game that's being played within the app because I missed out on so much stuff. And in my very first video about it, which you can see right here, I never got past level one because I really didn't know what I was doing. But I found this really handy dandy website, which I will link into the description, called GameDetectives.net. And it has a whole list of the Tender beta app quests and including ones that uh, are no longer available that were only available on certain days such as Valentine's Day. So if you want to see me sign up for the app and do the initial quest that you can do as soon as you sign up for it, you can watch that video I linked a moment ago and then come back and see the next quest that we can do. So the next quest that was available apparently was a quest that was available only on Valentine's Day of 2019. And according to the Game Detectives website, it required you to reflect on your life for one minute and ask the user to watch a video before completing the task. No challenge or input field was present. Okay, so we they actually have a link to the video. So let's go ahead and open it and let's play it. Okay, so that obviously had to do a lot with the feeling of being lonely. Asking you to reflect on your life for one minute and then showing you a video like this could possibly subconsciously, subliminally make a person feel lonelier than they actually feel. Or maybe it's a person who's already lonely and sees that and says, yep, I'm that lonely. The next activity was available on February 15th, 2019 and was referenced in an email sent to the player. The activity includes a video which announces to the player that a match has been found for them. Their task is to find who this user is based on a number of interests. So let's go ahead and watch this video. We understand your pain. All these nights alone. This wasted life. All this untapped potential that could be shared with your soulmate. We are here for you. Our algorithms have analyzed your input and actions. The profiles you looked at, what you love, who you are, what you did last weekend. We'd like to introduce you to your first match. She is often on tender, alone. She grows more distant from her husband every day. We think it's a good time to approach her. We have set the stage and presented your profile. She likes you. It's time to like her back. She loves cats and thanatology, but she is missing a toe. <laughs> she is not online at the moment, so you may not have the chance to talk to her, but go ahead, explore her soul and try to conquer her heart. Explore the various profile lists on your home screen and hit the heart button. When you find who she is, put her nickname down below and complete this quest. Okay, so I obviously got nothing like that uh, on my Tender app, which is mostly uh, nothing with zero quests remaining. So I don't know how this video is gonna turn out really because obviously I'm terrible at this. But what it says here is based on the information provided, users can search the profiles available and find one by a user called Deep Sapphire 4 with the following info. Bio, humble, honest worker looking to add something more to my day. Try to tame this wild mare and you're in for a hell of a ride. I have one missing toe and according to my husband, too many horse paintings. Interests, horror, metal, fashion, cats, thanatology. By entering Deep Sapphire 4, the quest is completed. Okay, and so after all of that is completed, the next quest is called Goodbye. After completing the first match activity and reaching level 4, this emotional activity becomes available. There is no answer to fill in with only a video to watch. You will find a little heart on your screen. Click it to see your match. The one who, one day, 
may become your soulmate. Each match comes with individual and personal quests to discover and learn more about them. When you reach the end of their challenge, and if they are online, you will be able to talk with them. But for this session, you did well. You now have your first match. We will keep bringing candidates to your doorstep. We hope you enjoy your time with us. We love you very much. Okay, I did cut that video a little short just because it, it literally went on for another 30, 45 seconds of just that song playing over and over again with the image not changing. And I'm not exactly sure what we saw in that image. Um, it looked maybe like uh, an angiogram of a heart or something. I'm not really sure. It was very strange. Let me know what you thought of that video in the comments below. Okay, so the next quest events uh, was during the live event in New York, which I covered in my last video, which you can see right here. Sequence A peg ML 195A.102. The first and initially only quest available to users as part of this event, this emotional activities video, including the following message. Let's go ahead and watch this video. Welcome tender user to level one of our sacred circle of awakened souls. A select few have been selected in this group to partake in a journey, not to believe or to experience, but to discover. Enter the code to step into the first protective circle that will show you the dualistic equilibrium that reigns over us. Remember that no one believes in water, they drink it. No mortal believes in air, they breathe it. Don't believe, discover. Okay, and those codes that that woman was talking about in the video, I did talk about that in my last video. They flashed on the screen during the Twitch live event that was um, an escape room thing. Um, and I do have images of them if I can find wherever I put them or if I accidentally deleted them, I don't know. Um, but I will put them up on the screen as I'm speaking. And I do find that video really, really strange because the fact that she calls them mortals, that gives me a little, because this is so ambiguous and esoteric, I, I, I tend to think more negatively in that there isn't going to be a new vampire masquerade game or something within that world um, being developed. But the fact that she says mortals makes me think that perhaps, I mean, she didn't say kind, she said mortals, but still that gives me a little bit more hope. Okay, so when you enter in the code, you get the next part of the quest, which is called Wara with a bunch of X's following it. Warashi's video contained only background music with a set of symbols appearing on the screen. Since that's the case, I'm not going to play the video. Um, and they look like this. These symbols were identified to be from Phoenician alphabet, from the Phoenician alphabet, and therefore the message was translated as follows, firstly into Latin characters. And I should stop right here and say the people who are in that live chat, they were on their game. Um, they were incredibly crafty. Just a few moments time, we saw them going through the Phoenician alphabet, trying to figure out these things and and no more than five ten minutes passed before they were able to figure it out and then the next set of uh, numbers would appear on the screen the next path the next password whatever that gets you to the next part of the quest i mean they were just amazing okay so it was translated and then reverse the order phoenician is written right to left like Arabic languages nowadays. Note that the word stand on the last line was incorrectly written left to right and does not need to be reversed itself. The shining it stand by me. So I can tell you right now without reading further that those are three things that say Stephen King to me. <laughs> All three of these novels written by Stephen King, there you go, which feature a child or children as main characters. Additionally, the title of this quest, Warashi, refers to Sashiki Warashi, a Japanese demon or yokai, sure I butchered all those words, which is often described as looking like a five or six year old girl. As such, the correct answer to this quest was children. And I swear in the live chat they were coming up with these answers in real time and it was pretty impressive. To I sat and I, you know, I made uh, dinner and I sat and I watched the live stream with my wife and we were both really impressed with the people in the chat. The next quest here is Ubeme, with a bunch of X's followed. Ubeme's video also only contains symbols from the Phoenician alphabet, so we're doing this again. Converted into Latin characters, this reads Russia, ship, tongue. Each of these words can be prefaced with the word mother to form a com common phrase. Mother Russia, mother ship, and mother tongue. Never That never would have crossed my mind. I would have really had to turn my brain to high power, and it's really hard. <laughs> Additionally, the title of this quest, Ubeme, refers to a particular yokai of the same name. Now, yokai, if you remember, was uh, Warashi from the first part of the quest, a Japanese demon or yokai. This particular yokai is often described as an old woman or crone. Therefore, the correct answer to this quest was mother. So we have children 
and we have Mother. So the third part of the quest follows the same format as the two quests above, Okiku. Its video also contains the Phoenician alphabet, however also contains Roman numerals. So it looked like this. When translated, this text reads, JPN, which obviously stands for Japan, August 27th, 1994, USA, June 5th, 1995. These dates and locations correspond with the local Japanese and wider North American release of the video game Earthbound. Additionally, Okiku can refer to the subject of the Japanese ghost story, Bansho Sarayakshiki, <laughs> where servant where a servant is tormented and eventually murdered over the false pretense of losing one of her household's plates. She subsequently becomes a vengeful spirit who torments her murderer until, in some instances of the story, she's released by someone calling out the word ten. As such, the correct answer to this quest was earthbound. Okay. I guess the yokai being uh, a ghost in this sense, or not even being a yokai, just being a ghost, being earthbound, I guess, okay, I guess it makes sense. Sorry, I can't even, even when I'm reading the answers out loud, my brain still can't catch up. That's how bad I am at this. Okay, so the next quest is sequence B, PEGML195A.102. Sequence B's video contained the following message. Let's go ahead and watch it. Level two of this control group will certainly be a revelation for some and a nightmare for others. To access higher knowledge, fulfill the prophecy by solving the following puzzles and entering the correct code. Our ultimate destiny is to unite enlightened tender users to end all loneliness. Okay, and then once that video was over, the code on the live stream then allowed the users to proceed with four new quests. Goroyo on... I can't, I can't, I can't even. Funayuri and Sequence C. Okay, so the first one, Goroyo, <laughs> was this video. There were 26 of us in total. 23 of us were Franciscans. Three of us were Jesuits. 17 of us were part of the Order of Penance. Six of us died in a country that was not ours. Okay, so that's obviously talking about monks or religious orders of some kind of, of the Catholic persuasion, I'm thinking. These figures related to the 26 martyrs of Japan, an execution of Catholics that took place in 1597. The answer to this quest is martyr. Okay, in the next one's video, was just a list of numbers. 1031, 1472, 1475, 1498. I'm guessing they're dates. The figures relate to passages within the Catechism of the Catholic Church. Ten and then of course the dates again, both of which are used to describe the concept of purgatory. By entering this as the answer, the quest is complete. Funa Yuri's video is this one. May it be cursed by those who curse the day those prepared to rouse what? According to Game Detectives, it says this phrase is from the if from the Bible, more specifically as Job 3.8 in the Berean Study Bible, the missing word which is obscured at the end is Leviathan. By entering this as the answer, the quest is completed. And then we have sequence C, peg ML 195A.102. This video... Prime members who have made it to level 3 of Tender's select missions may not all be saints. Did you respect the commandments to solve each quest? Or were you tempted from the start to succumb to easier ways? Enter the code to indulge in many good things, but make sure to confess your sins. <laughs> it's just like me, I'm just indulging at all the answers because I'm just crap at this game. As with the previous sequence quest, the answer to this came from a code on the live stream. It unlocked three new quests, G G K Jikniki, Petra, and Ikiro. So Jinkiki contained Morse code, which was interpreted as this. By converting the Morse code back to English, and I do remember in the live stream them doing that in real time, the answer necrophagy was found. Petra's video contains the following message. La cigale ayant chanté tout l'été, elle a la crié famine chez la fourmi sa voisine. Okay, that video was obviously French and I don't speak French, so I have no idea what it says. This is an extract from the French fable La Cigale et la Fourmi. The answer to this quest is based on the content of the fable, where the cicada is suffering from hunger and begs for assistance from the ant. The answer to this quest is hunger. The next quest, Ikiro, contains the following audio message. I can be found in Bergen, as well as between the ashes and the beach. These messages relate to a painting by Edvard Munch in 1895 titled Jealousy. The painting portrayed Stanislav, I can't read that, and the original currently resides within the Rasmus Meyer collection in Bergen's Art Museum. Entering Jealousy as the answer completes the mission. And the absolute final quest so far of the Tender Beta app is called Sea of Trees, Peg ML 195A.102. After completing all of the other quests, this quest will unlock. There is no answer box, but instead just a video to watch with the following message. We thank you for all you've done. 
In participating in this selective exercise, you've contributed to new additions in the tender universe and more. Data has been recorded during the quests and new levels have now been set to unlock in the near future. Stand by for more information, user. Okay, and then it goes on to play that quest again, except instead of just 30 seconds to 45 seconds, it plays it for a whole minute. <laughs> and that is literally all the quests that are available for the Tender app thus far. I'm really sorry if this video is a little disappointing that you couldn't see me play through them, but a lot of them were time sensitive, especially during the live stream and on Valentine's Day. There's more to these quests in terms of the soulmate quests that you get from the Valentine's Day email where you got matched with Deep Sapphire 4. Like I said, I left a link to this website in the description. I encourage everyone to come here and read it and sort of dig yourself into really what's going on with this ARG and where it's going. If you did enjoy this video, please let me know in the comments, leave me a like or a dislike, and of course you can subscribe if you want to, and I'll see you for next week's Masquerade Monday. Bye bye!